My name is Danny. I'm a wildlife photographer and I will go anywhere to photograph wildlife in their natural environment. Whether it's minus 25 outside or a hot, humid rainforest, I'll do it to see amazing animals. But my entire career has been spent on land. The truth is I've always had a fear of the deep ocean water. And to be honest, I'm not sure why. I've always liked swimming and I'm comfortable swimming long distances. Underwater photography has always been one of my favorite genres of photography. But I've never had the courage to jump out of a boat into the ocean. So I wondered, how could I overcome my fear of the open ocean? Photography. Maybe the distraction of a camera and the drive to get the photo can help me overcome this fear. I've headed to Baja California in Mexico to take my camera underwater for the first time and to overcome my fear of the deep ocean. Baja California is one of the best marine spots in the world. And my first photography target is the Californian sea lion. Today I've just taken a tourist boat to get a feel for swimming in the sea. After seeing the colony on land, it was time to get into the ocean. I was in the sea for less than 20 minutes. As soon as I jumped in, adrenaline rushed over me. The water was cold, even with a wetsuit, and it did shock me. I looked into the water and the visibility was so poor, I couldn't see anything. That night, I had my favorite Mexican street food, camotes, steamed sweet potato. So yesterday I went on the boat for the first time. I wasn't expecting like amazing photography opportunities. I really just wanted to get out into the sea test out the housing, my wetsuit, and just start getting comfortable with being in the sea. As soon as I jumped into the water, it was super cold. Although I checked all the locks on it, I was still freaked out that there might be water in it. So I was immediately like checking it and working out how to hold it and swim with it. At first, when I looked into the water, I couldn't actually see anything. The visibility was quite poor. As we got closer to the the rockery where the sea lions sleep <laughs> where the sea lions sleep and rest I could see them around me they weren't interested in us there were some divers below and the sea lions were like around them a bit more tomorrow I want to find a private company or a fisherman who can take us to a small rockery where there are about 40 sea lions just resting. I don't want to be with people because I just feel really rushed to get the photos. And also there's the issue that people get in the way of the photos, like if they're around me swimming. But I haven't found anyone yet, so we'll see how that works out. Today we were on a mission to find a boat that could take us to a smaller sea lion colony. After a bit of searching, we finally found a tour business that could take us to a resting colony of sea lions. As soon as we jumped into the water, I felt different. I was motivated. 
The water visibility was good and it wasn't very deep. It was time to have some fun and properly try underwater photography. I moved closer to them with the current and they happily slept in front of me. Most of the sea lions weren't interested in us, but this individual would blow bubbles and watch how we'd respond. I do wonder whether he was trying to play with us. It was a great hour with the sea lions, and it boosted my confidence in the water but we were still very close to the shore and in shallow water. I was still far from overcoming my fear of the deep ocean. For my underwater photos, I'm actually using a lens I bought from MPB and I'd like to thank them for sponsoring this video. MPB is a platform that buy, sell and trade photography equipment. Over the past few years as an amateur, an early career and a professional, MPB have been fantastic as I could access incredible equipment for the fraction of the price. Buying used from MPB is an average of 30% cheaper than buying new. I've actually bought three lenses, two teleconverters and two cameras from MPB and the equipment has always been spot on and matched the online listing. By changing my kit with MPB, I've been empowered to tell stories about the natural world and share my journeys photographing wildlife. So do check out MPB, the link is in the description. We headed to a new spot near a fishing village, Levantana. I had been invited to hang out with Alejandro, who is an underwater photographer. Alejandro grew up near the ocean spearfishing, but he quickly changed a spear for a camera. And since then, he's not picked up a spear gun and developed a deep passion for the ocean. Today, we were searching for mobular rays. They congregate here in their thousands to mate. But shortly after getting out to sea, we received a call for dolphins.
This was one of the most magical experiences I've had with nature. I could clearly see the dolphin looking at me and I was completely filled with awe and wonder. The dolphins were so quick, so instead of jumping into the water, I put my camera into the sea and shot blind. This, of course, doesn't help me overcome my fear of the ocean, but I was so happy to discover I've managed to photograph wild dolphins. It was amazing to share my excitement for nature with Alejandro. We couldn't find the mobula rays, but Alejandro had invited us to join him another day. When we arrived onto land, these brown pelicans were waiting for fishermen to return from sea. We've had a great morning and we headed to our new Airbnb when Juan drove into the sand and we got stuck. Okay, get in tight. Go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. <laughs> We were back on our way. We were staying in the desert. I've now photographed two of my target subjects, sea lions and dolphins, both very charismatic species. But although I've made a big step, I still have not overcome my fear of the deep ocean. In the next part, I truly experience the deep ocean and I swim with the world's most feared animal. I hope you enjoyed the first part of my underwater series. I'm going to post some photos on my Instagram and also on my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I'm still in Sweden, so more Sweden videos coming soon.